After a rocky start to the year marked by vulgar comments and a government shutdown, President Donald Trump will deliver his first State of the Union address Tuesday night, looking to reclaim momentum for his agenda and convince the country he's on the right track. America is open for business and we are competitive once again. Trump delivers his address to the nation under the cloud of Robert Mueller's Russia investigation and with the lowest public approval ratings of any president at this point in office. So expect the president to shine a spotlight on his successes, touting the recently passed tax cuts and the economy's booming performance. Our country is doing really well. Our economy is perhaps the best it's ever been. I'm expecting that this will be a speech which will be focused on victory laps. He will exaggerate the accomplishments and not talk much about the things that have not been done. Trump will attempt to make headway on an issue at the heart of the government funding impasse, immigration. The president is proposing a pathway to citizenship for 1.8 million of the so-called dreamer immigrants, as well as $25 billion in funding for a border wall and other security measures. We're going to treat people very well and we're going to solve a problem that is a very tough problem to solve. But Democrats are already slamming the proposal, as well as Trump's ability to strike a deal. Negotiating with this White House is like negotiating with Jell-O. It's next to impossible. Trump will also preview his long-awaited infrastructure plan, proposing to put some $1.7 trillion into rebuilding the nation's crumbling roads and bridges. The White House hoping to find a rare area of potential compromise during the midst of a contentious midterm year. That's the kind of thing that could still get some uh, bipartisan support. You know, what can be bad for bringing in a, um, a shovel-ready project into your district or your state as you're going into a re-election? On national security, Trump will praise his administration's progress on fighting the Islamic State group. He'll continue his push for better trade deals and issue renewed warnings about a nuclear-armed North Korea. I've got to believe we will have at least one rocket man, if not two, mentions. I would expect that Trump is going to tout his Middle East policy, which is getting some acclaim and which, of course, is viewed rapturously by the Israelis. What I don't expect is that he will say much of anything about Russia. What will be notable Tuesday night is not just what the president says, but who's in the room. Democratic lawmakers, some planning to wear black, have invited dreamers and sexual assault victims as their guests at the address, highlighting the need for immigration reform and solidarity on the Me Too movement. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.